Continuing coverage as families were invited to take in the sights and sounds of the enchanted forest at Mid-Michigan's Renaissance Festival. TV5's Ashlyn Hill reports on how the event brings German history and fairy tales to life. The gates are open! The gates are open! So I'm just here causing as much trouble and problems as I possibly can. You have strange I mean, mirrors on you. <laughs> I'm in need of new pirates, you see. A cast of characters and entertainers can be found at the Mid Michigan Renaissance Festival's oh, Enchanted Forest. Quack, quack. Tucked away between Frankenmuth and Vassar, people from all over are invited to walk through the gates into a magical realm. We are um, an enchanted realm that mixes historical characters and fairy tale creatures to tell the stories lifted right out of Grimm's fairy tale storybook. I am good now. I am here to the Shannon Layton is the general manager of the Enchanted Forest. She tells me this is a separate festival from the Michigan Renaissance Festival, and for the past 11 years, volunteers have been giving it all they've got to bring time period knowledge and entertainment to mid-Michigan. This is a 100% a volunteer effort. The folks that come here come here as a labor of love, and um, it's that community that really keeps things going and growing. And amongst the shenanigans and tomfoolery, you'll also find all kinds of specialty vendors. We've got a lot of folks who make things by hand, a lot of artisans here with different things that they've created, um, soap makers and wood turners, and um, we've got some fairy gardens over here that are made by hand, and then we have some other, uh, we've got our swordsman here, we've got a lady down the lane this way that sells some fancy hairdos, another one over here that does some wraps. But overall, Layton says it's all about the sense of community. This is our When Worlds Collide weekend, so we mix our Renaissance Festival with a little bit of steampunk, with a little bit of uh, cosplay, and we really just see all kinds of folks come through. In Saginaw County, Ashlyn Hill, WNEM-TV5.